Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. Today, I want to tell you about an exciting new product that I'm going to start carrying in my store. This is the Apple II joystick connector, and it lets you connect a DB9 or a 9-pin joystick to your Apple II Plus or 2E. So let's get started. There have been adapters that converted from the 9-pin joysticks that came out around the time of the Apple IIe and Apple IIc to the 16-pin socket inside the Apple II Plus for probably about 40 years now. So why am I so excited about this one? This is the first circuit board that I've ever designed myself and had manufactured. I actually borrowed the idea for this from Marco Insanilla on Facebook. He posted a few days ago about how he had built this adapter so he could mount his A2IO Bluetooth controller inside his clear case Apple IIe. And I thought it was such a cool idea that I decided I wanted to replicate it myself. I made a couple modifications to the layout of the traces from his design and I also made it a little bit simpler to mount in a socket. Let's go ahead and assemble one now and then we'll try it out. All right, here's everything that I need to assemble the Apple II joystick connector. I have my board itself. I've got the DB9 connector here with the pins on the back of it. I've got the 16 pin dip socket, which is gonna go underneath. And then I have the connector pins that are gonna go in the top of the socket and then underneath the board. So let's go ahead and we'll assemble it now. First thing I want to do is put the header pins into the dip socket and I want to make sure that I actually orient this correctly so that the little notch indicating the front of the chip is at the bottom there. So here are my connectors for the game connectors one and three. Here's the other three pins and this is ground and game connectors zero and two. So I put those in. And then finally, here are the three push buttons along with plus five volts. All right, now that I've got those pins in there, we can go ahead and put those into the bottom of the board, just like that. And by putting it in the socket first, that'll keep everything all lined up. And now we can go ahead and we can solder all these pins in there. All right, now that we've got the socket soldered in there, we can go ahead and solder in the DB9 connector. So we'll just insert that through the top and put that down like that. All right, so there is the assembled Apple II joystick connector board. Let's go ahead and we'll put it into one of my Apple IIs and see how it works. Okay, here is the assembled Apple II joystick connector. You can see I've got the 16-pin socket on the bottom and the 9-pin DB9 on the top. I'm going to go ahead and plug in Aaron Reed's Apple II I.O., which is the Bluetooth joystick adapter, so you can use like Xbox or PS4 controllers in an Apple II. Normally, you can only plug this into the back of, say, an Apple IIc, a 2E, or a 2GS, but the Apple II Plus and the Apple II don't have a nine pin connector on the back of them. So my adapter lets you plug this into one of those boards and it also hides it inside the case, which is a little bit more convenient than having this stick out the back. So to mount it into your Apple II, you just plug in the A2IO and then just carefully line up the pins here on the board with the game port socket and then just plug it in and you're all done. Let's go ahead and we'll fire it up and try out a game. Okay, first thing I need to do here is just connect the A2IO on the iPhone app to the actual Bluetooth controller. And once it's connected, then it should be good to go. And now I just go under Gamepad and it already says that the actual controller is connected. So in this case, I'm using a GameSir T4 Pro wireless controller, which is similar to an Xbox controller. All 
All right, let's make sure everything works properly. So here's the A button, here's the B button. I should be able to move back and forth. Okay, I can pull, let's see, up to stand up. Okay, can I, there I can bow with the B key. Okay, I can also use the D-pad to move if that's more convenient. So it looks like my adapter is working great along with the A2IO. All right, let's go ahead and we'll unplug the A2IO. If you have a joystick designed for an Apple IIc or Apple IIe, like for example, this one here, this is a CH Products joystick. Normally you couldn't use this on an Apple II or Apple II Plus because they don't have the DB9. However, with my adapter, you can actually do that. So we'll just go ahead and we'll plug this in carefully. Let's go ahead and we'll turn it on. Okay, so everything seems to be working here as we would expect. So you can now use your regular DB9 joysticks with an Apple II or Apple II Plus as well. If you're gonna go ahead and do this, what I would recommend is because this just comes straight up off of the motherboard like that, you probably don't wanna have it tugging at the back of the case. So what I typically do in these cases is I'll just put a little knot in the cord itself as a strain relief, and then this will catch on the back of the case and prevent this from actually wiggling around too much if the joystick gets pulled too hard. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Apple II joystick connector that lets you plug a DB9 joystick or Aaron Reed's A2IO into your Apple II or Apple II Plus. I'll be carrying these in my online store as a bundled item with the A2IO or as a separate standalone item if you want to use it with just a regular joystick. Again, I want to thank Marco Insanilla for sharing his circuit diagram with me and being so supportive of me taking his idea and running with it. I also want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to become a supporter, there's a link in the show notes below. And finally, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. I would really appreciate it. Once again, thanks for watching.